Toggle buttons change the conditions of other buttons depending on whether they are activated or deactivated. So here we've got three toggle buttons. And I know they're a toggle button because the button type is action. And then further the action is toggle, not make movie, but toggle. Now um, this feature is only available on Sports Code Elite. So if you have Sports Code Pro, you won't be able to see the action button type and you won't be able to use it. So just keep that in mind. It's important to give all your toggle buttons button IDs. It's not essential, but it makes everything a whole lot easier in the scripting. So I've just made the button ID here blue, as the color is, um, then red and yellow as well. So just keeping it simple. And then here we've got this empty button, and this is going to be the button we're going to change the condition of. If we look at the scripting, we're going to see it's quite comprehensive. Um, but we're going to go through it step by step, and we're going to redo this top um, pod here so we can really understand it. So if... We're going to use a lot of if statements as that's what toggle buttons uh, require. And following that if statement, we're going to use a bracket as all if statements are followed by brackets with a string within them. So if button, because toggle buttons are still a type of button, hashtag quotation marks blue. Now a hashtag is referencing the button ID. Without that hashtag, if we just had quotation marks, we'd be referencing the button name. But with that hashtag, we're referencing the button ID. So if hashtag blue state equal one. Now a button can be in two different states. It can either be activated or deactivated. An activated button is in state one. A deactivated button is in state zero. So we want this to happen if the button is activated or if blue is activated. Hence, we've got state equals one. So then comma button color and we want the same color as this blue toggle button here so we're going to go again hashtag quotation marks blue now we're going to close that with another bracket and what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this paste and paste and then we're just going to change these last statements around so instead of button color we're going to go text color bracket 100 100 100 which is going to be white we're going to close that bracket as well because we've got a bracket with inside a bracket so we're going to have two brackets at the end and then if button color uh, if blue button blue state equals one we want to rename it quotation marks blue close quotation marks so that's the exact same as down here except we've just replaced blue with red and red with yellow so that means when we press this blue button here that this is going to turn blue the uh, text color is going to be white and it's going to rename itself blue we'll see that soon but it's going to go down here and i'm going to show one of these as well so this is just combining the series of different states for a different result so if button hashtag yellow state equals zero and button red equals one and button blue state equals one button color purple so that's purple there so what that's doing is this, if yellow is not activated, but red is activated and blue is activated, we want it to be purple. And we've just repeated that there, down here. So that's nothing new. All we're doing is adding that and statement between the button and the state um, statements. And then again, having that result or what we want at the end. Done the same down here for green and orange. Just changing the colors around. So for orange, we want red and yellow activated, but blue not activated. For green, we want red and blue activated, but not, sorry, yellow and blue activated, but not red. So now when I go report mode and I click blue, blue's going to show up. If I click red, red's going to show up, yellow. And if I combine these, it's going to be purple. It's going to be orange. And it's going to be green. So again, I'm just going to open this up. And you can screenshot this if you want and get a good um, idea of all the scripting. Or if you want me to send you this window, I can do that as well as my email will be in the description. Cheers.